Hey, buddy, I think you got the wrong door. The leather club's two blocks down. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck you, Leatherhead. I know I'm brutalizing the deceased equine by even mentioning the possibility that either the Tomislav or the stock minigun could perform better than the other. It does get old after a while when a bunch of half-hour opinion pieces are screaming at you about nuances in playstyle rather than the overall effectiveness of a weapon. For example, some people conclude that the Tomislav is better because of its increased accuracy and spin-up time, allowing for quicker reactions, a higher initial damage output, and rewarded aim, plus the added stealth factor with its silent spin-up. Whereas others come to the opposite conclusion, that the stock minigun is better because of its higher damage output at close range and slightly more forgiving bullet spread. Weapon season! Duck season! Weapon season! Neither of these statements about gameplay functionality are sufficient grounds for saying that one weapon is conclusively better than the other. What we still do not have is a clear-cut objective answer as to which minigun performs better overall, if at all, that takes into account all of these gameplay factors regardless of situational effectiveness. So let's put this debate to the test, shall we? Or put it to rest, but even after this, people will still be at each other's throats over this topic because regardless of what I show them, they will still find means to argue, so... Science is a liar sometimes! As a man of science, I'm going back to a reliable statistical analysis to test whether or not one weapon can outperform another. Once again, thanks go to Toofty TV for nailing down this simple yet elegant analysis method. I previously implemented this with the stock rocket launcher versus the Liberty launcher, and I frankly consider it foolproof. In essence, the method is to play a bunch of rounds on a single map collect performance stats, and see which weapon performs better. Each weapon has its own benefits and downsides associated with it, but no matter what your playstyle or weapon stats are, being an effective heavy essentially boils down into two things. Are you doing a lot of damage, and are you getting a lot of kills? As such, I will be collecting performance data on three key stats. Damage per minute, kills per minute, and points per minute. My arena of choice this time around will be Payload Upward, an all-around good map with a variety of environmental elements that highlight both the heavy's weak points and the heavy's strong points. I will be playing 50 full rounds of Upward, that's attack and defense. 25 rounds using the stock minigun, and 25 rounds using the Tomislav. My loadouts of choice will be the stock minigun or the Tomislav, paired with the sandwich and the stock fists. Get this will allow for my primary damage dealer to be the minigun of choice rather than something like a shotgun. So hopefully my larger sample pool of 50 rounds will remove any bias related to unbalanced teams, random crits, crits kriegs, my own inconsistent play style, script kitties, incomplete rounds, what have you. So I'm gonna go play 50 rounds of upward. I'll be back with the numbers. Uh Who's getting auto balanced? It's gonna be fucking me again, because last round I got auto balanced five times! Mission. Fuck! Okay. 50 rounds of upward are much more palatable when they are done over the course of a few weeks, but. <clears throat> Plain and simple, nothing flashy, here are the results. This is interesting, on average the minigun performed better than the Tomislav across all stats. Averages don't mean much without some information about the samples themselves, so I've also included the standard deviation for each average, if you know what that is, great, if not, don't worry about it, not that important. But taking a closer look at damage per minute, on average the stock minigun did 57 more damage per minute than the Tomislav. This sounds fairly insignificant, but let's say over the course of a 20 20 minute round of upward, that adds up to roughly a thousand more damage per round. And this result makes sense. Bullet for bullet, the stock minigun and the Tomislav do the exact same amount of damage per shot. But the Tomislav has a 20% slower firing rate, which is functionally the same as a minus 20% damage penalty. 
A lot of people seem to overlook this, but if you were to hit every single shot with your primary, not miss a single bullet from your minigun, you would have to fire the Tomislav 20% longer than stock in order to do the exact same amount of damage. But here is the interesting thing. A difference in 57 damage does not reflect a 20% damage penalty. It's actually about 10%, and here's why. The Tomislav does have a 20% slower firing rate, but it also has a 20% faster spin-up time, and it's 20% more accurate. It may not feel like you are doing less damage because these stats make up for some, but not all, of that functional 20% damage penalty. While the Tomislav does fire slower, its increased accuracy means that you can hit more shots than the stock minigun, especially at greater distances. And overall, that faster spin-up time means you spend less time preparing to fire, which means you're spending more time shooting. As a follow-up to this, points and kills per minute do not vary that much, but the minigun does outperform the Tomislav by about one half kill per minute and one full point per minute. It's not that big of a difference, but it does add up over time during a full round, but based off of these results, the Tomislav does underperform slightly, but one could conclude that what the Tomislav lacks in power, it makes up for by being able to attack the enemy faster, at greater range, and by doing so quietly. And that's about it. The major conclusion is that the Tomislav consistently does 10% less damage than the stock minigun, and because of that, it's slightly less efficient overall. Situational benefits aside for each primary, that's really the only difference between the stock minigun and the Tomislav in terms of overall performance. You can still play heavy efficiently using either weapon, but if I had to conclusively state which one is better, of course I'm going to say the stock minigun. You don't have to worry about doing less damage, and you perform at an almost identical level to that of the Tomislav. Arguments can be made for either or, but maybe now the debate can quiet down a little bit. Tomislav is better than stock. Six barrels are better than one. It's simple math. Uh, Tomislav is better than minigun. <laughs> Clearly the stock minigun is better than Tomislav because I have a cool coffin nail skin for the stock. While it's fun to be a Tommy gunner, sometimes you just have to pull out the minigun. Why the hell would anyone use the stock minigun? I mean, everyone knows that the Tomislav is the greatest weapon in existence. <laughs>